Stemboski vs. Ackley, known as the Ghostbusters ruling, the plans of Jeffrey Stemboski decided to purchase a beautiful home from Helen Ackley. Over the course of ownership, Ackley had reported the existence of numerous poltergeists or ghosts in the home. Ackley had reported the existence of ghosts in her house to both Reader's Digest and a local newspaper on three occasions between 1977 and 1989. She, she spoke with the press several instances in which the poltergeists interacted directly with members of her family. She claimed that her granddaughter received gifts of baby rings, all of a sudden, all of a sudden which disappeared later. She also claimed that one of the ghosts would wake her daughter Cynthia each morning by shaking her bed. Neither Ackley nor the real estate broker Ellis Realty revealed the haunting to Stamboski before he entered the contract to purchase the house in 1989 and 1990. Stamboski made $32,500 down payment on the agreement price of $650,000 for the house. Stamboski was from New York City and was not aware of the folklore of Nyack, including the widely known haunted story. When Stamboski learned about the haunted story, he filed a middle action requesting rescission of the contract for sale for the damages and for fraudulent misrepresentation by Ackley and Ellis Realty. Stamboski did not attend the closing, which caused him to forfeit the down payment, although he was not obligated to buy the house. A New York a New York Supreme Court trial court dismissed the action and Stamboski appealed. The appellate court reversed the trial court's decision regarding the rescission action. However, as it went on to note that the hunting was not a condition that buyers or potential buyers or real property can or should be able to ascertain upon reasonably inspection of the property.